How much money do you make? How much do you get paid? How much you get every month? How much they pay at YouTube? How much does your dog's poop weigh? Hey guys, I you know I get this question a lot. Uh, but not the dog the dog poop one, but the money one. And you know normally I just ignore it. But I mean yeah, it's a fair question. But let's face it, it's it's kind of rude, isn't it? It's kind of rude to ask somebody how much they make. Like, unless you really, really know someone, you're not going to, like, walk around an office and go, like, Oh, you're the accountant here? What, what do they pay you? Let me see your bank statement. But I'm making this video because a few days ago, a, a website called Business Insider released an article that it's all about how much the top ten YouTubers made in the past year through their banner ads. The article was picked up by Yahoo and a bunch of other websites, and it claims to have used analytics and tube mogul to come up with these supposedly accurate estimates. And they must be true because otherwise they couldn't possibly publish that, right? I mean, come on! It's so wrong. It's so, in fact, everything in the article appears to be wrong. It's so wrong that my channel, Mediocre Films, the number 70 most subscribed channel, somehow made their top 10 list. It came in at number 7. According to the article, my channel, Mediocre Films, in the past 12 months has gotten 159 million views. Wow! I, I didn't know that, especially considering that since I joined YouTube in 2006, my channel has gotten a total, my videos have a total of 113 million. That's about two-thirds of the number they're claiming that I got in the past year. How did they come up with that number? Of course, to be fair, I understand fact-checking is difficult. You would have actually had to go to my channel to find out this secret information. The list actually is pretty amazing in that it left off so many YouTubers who are way more viewed than I am. It left off Mystery Guitar Man. It left off Ray, Ray William Johnson. It left off I Justine, uh, Lisa Nova, I don't think made it on that list, uh, uh, Dave Days, Charles Trippi, uh, Michael Buckley. So many people who are so much more popular than Mediocre Films somehow didn't get on this channel. And Mediocre Films is listed one step higher, one, one position higher than Smosh. Smosh, for the longest time, held the number one most subscribed position. Somehow they've put me on the list ahead of Smosh. What? Wow! I had no idea that they could just make up stuff. I mean, did the writer of the article actually believe that I somehow got more views than these people? It, I Check your facts, man! You have a responsibility here. You can't just take a shit on a page and sell it as a book. I'm not gonna buy your shit book. It's as if the writer of this article not only used no factual data to come up with these figures, uh, but it's also as if they never even visited YouTube. You're aware that YouTube has a most viewed list. It has a top 100 most viewed list and a top 100 most subscribed list. Mediocre Films, as I mentioned, is number 70 on the most subscribed list. Guess where it is in the top 100 most viewed list? Go ahead, take a guess. Hey, if you guessed it's not on that list, you're right. I'm very proud that I've had a lot of views. I've had a lot of views, but I didn't even make the top 100 on YouTube. The actual top 100, not the phony top 10 that you have made. But you've already written it. It's already been published, so hey, listen, why, while you're at it, why not put me on the top 10 presidents of the 20th century list? Like one spot ahead of FDR. I think that'd be, that would be great for mediocre films. I'm using sarcasm to convey my displeasure with false information being posted as facts. Now, if you read that article and you just believed it, you took it at face value, it's okay, I don't blame you. It just goes to prove that people will believe whatever they read or whatever they hear. You know, I've gotten to the point where now, when it comes to celebrity gossip, I don't believe stuff that's said about people. I, unless there's actual audio or, or video proof, like the Mel Gibson tapes. But I, I don't believe it. I don't believe gossip about famous people. Because, not that I'm famous. Because, uh, hey look, I'm not them. And I wasn't there. Okay, to everyone who sent me really kind notes of congratulations, thank you. I really, really do appreciate your support. And I would be thrilled if I actually had any business being on that list, or if I actually made that much money, or had that many views that they claim that I did. Uh, that would be awesome. It would also be awesome if I could shit diamonds, but I can't do that either. What I do do, however, I said do do, what I do do, and what all uh, successful YouTubers do, is I work really, really hard writing, performing, shooting, and editing videos. I easily work 60 to 80 hours a week, sometimes more, doing all of this work. A lot of it's just sitting here in front of my computer. It's exhausting. It's really, it's hard work to put together shoots. It's, 
it's exhausting, but it's fun, and I love it, and I am very lucky um, to be able to make enough money off of this to pay some bills and help support my family, and I make money off of it because this is a job. Don't get me wrong, it's fun, and it's a, it, it started as a hobby, and I love doing it, but it is a job. Now, some people get angry for like, oh my god, you're making money off of videos? Well, you know, it's because it's a job. It's not like you're going to get angry at like, that guy drives an ice cream truck around and gets money to, for giving ice cream to children? How dare him! Okay, bottom line is, I, I love my job. I can't believe this is my job. I, I cannot believe that I actually get paid to do something that I love to do. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So, thank you, each and every one of you watching this video. Thank you so much for watching my stuff. And uh, I appreciate you guys. And I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow.